So I had to get off and come back on. So I hope this all works for everybody and that you're in the holiday spirit. We're going to be doing Christmas fun decor. All right. So thanks for coming on. Hi, uh, Gilbert. There we go. Hello. Um, we have had spectrum problems all day long. And that's our internet system. And I haven't had any problem, but apparently um, what everybody's been telling me happened to me. So I'm here. It's good to see you guys. I am going to be painting something fun tonight. And I just wanted to come on and share this with you. This is a Dollar Tree plastic plate. And I thought it would be really fun. I was going to write, you know, the dewberries or holidays on there. But also you can get, I want you to see that they had these plates that already had words on it. It had faith and family and I they had a good setting. Family, okay. So what I wanted to share with you is that what's gonna happen tonight is we're not painting the buffalo plaid. So some people said I gave a little bit of notice on my Facebook group. So if you wanna be sure that you go to Donna Dewberry's official one stroke group on Facebook, then you will know when I'm posting classes and what's going on um, because that's as techie as I get right now. So what I want to do is um, people who said they couldn't get the plaid, you can actually order these from Dollar, um, DollarTree.com and they'll send them to your store, free shipping, and you go pick them up or they'll mail them to you if you want to pay shipping. But I had so much fun and our paint's got a shine on it too. So it looks really good on here. And so I did just put these two next to it on a setting on my server when you walk in the house. But I thought it would be fun to personalize these for gifts during the holidays and for decorating. So this is a good, quick, inexpensive project that you can do that is a dollar. So you can just go get white plates, clear plates. Our paint goes on glass, metal, ceramic. I saw some metal ones at Hobby Lobby, um, but there's a difference in a dollar and three ninety nine, four dollars. <laughs> and if you're selling it or giving them away, um, this paint stays really good on here. So there you go. So what I wanted to do is just teach you this fun lesson because it's easy, quick, and fun. So we have lots of people out there from Mississippi and Miss Sue, hello. Um, yes, thank goodness it's working now. <laughs> um, and so some of you are looking for me, it looks like I'm brand new and I'm in love and obsessed with your work. Yay, so listen, you can do it too. That's the fun about it. Um, hi, hello, it's nice to see you too, guys. And Tammy from Georgia, that's where the paint company is. And Atlanta, Georgia, we love it, Norcross actually. From uh, Hello, Teresa from Canada, hello, hello. So I am excited. This is also gonna be posted on my, on my um, channel, the Donna Dubry channel, which you're right there if you're with me right now. Um, hello, Katie and Melody and Let's see, Sue, hello, I already said, and some sunglass people. I don't know. Hello, Mrs. Gates, how are you? I finally found you on time. This will be great. Uh, you haven't painted with me for 20 years? Woohoo! I have painted with you for 20 years. They, and you're from Tennessee. That's awesome. And we have somebody from Mexico City. My grandson was on a mission in Mexico City and came home because of COVID. But he was over there for about... 17, 18 months. He loves Mexico, loves the people, and he learns Spanish beautifully. <laughs> so uh, that's awesome. And hello, Miss Kim. So I just wanted to get right into it so that we have plenty of time to get it painted and have fun together. Does that sound good? All right. So these are quick and easy strokes that anybody can do. Hello from California. Hello. Um, so I am going to pull out just a few colors and show you what they are. And I'm going to put them right down so they'll be easy for you to see. And let's see. There we go. So let's go back down. And I even wore a Christmas shirt to inspire you guys to get in the, in the mood, right? Okay. So these are multi-surface colors. There we go. 
And people always say, ma'am, what paint, what paint? So you can get large bottles, really large, or you can do the two ounce acrylic paint. So it's acrylic paint, it's got a sealer in it, and this paint will stay on the plastic really well. All right, so what? There we go. <clears throat> so this is what we're gonna do. I am going to, I've got double loaders. You can see guys on Fridays, I put on classes that teach you the beginning to start and paint one stroke. Um, I'm thinking of being, bringing my grandson, letting my grandson do some painting on their chargers for me to have. That would be wonderful. And it'd be pretty and it'll remind you of them all the time. Oh, yes. Y'all can speak Spanish with him. Yes, not me. <laughs> but I wish I could. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I pulled out some brushes. I have a liner brush, a 12 flat, a 16 flat. So I mostly work with flats. This is a great way to see that you could just do one little ornament, just some little pine needles and little dots. Now, this is a very, very good for a beginner, beginner. Okay. All right, and this is reverse, I know, so you see it backwards. All right, so I said that the other day, and somebody says, no, it isn't, ma'am, it's fine. So I don't know. Uh, so let's see, Melinda, hello. September wreath, as I'm watching, <laughs> just got in the mood to paint again. Thank you, I'm glad you need to do that. Uh, this paint is an acrylic paint. It's called multi-surface, and people keep asking. So I'm thinking maybe... Uh, we, we need three more pigments to finish my collection. Oh, okay. So we have, this goes on metal, outdoors, glass, wood, and this is hard styrene plastic. So it works on there too. All right. So let's get our colors going. Now, what I'm doing on this one is I'm putting a white, I needed it to show. So I used a little bit of medium gray with white for the candle. I did two ornaments, and that's the first thing we're going to do. So you ready? All right. So I'm excited to be working with you guys, and, and people keep coming on. That's a good thing. Uh, you have all, I have all my multi-surface. Yay. I have all my surfaces. Okay. Um, hello from Colorado. So now this is what I'm going to do. I am going to put wicker white. Let's put it here so you all can see. Wicker white, see the glare? All right, some medium gray. All right, we just need a teeny bit of that. I shouldn't have put out that much. Can you see? All right, so, and I'm gonna put some apple red. So I have a bright red. Can you see that? Apple red. All right, here. And then I'm gonna have I'm gonna pound my paint, <laughs> all right. Ready to paint, yes, I'm ready. I hope you guys are ready. That's citrus green, all right, and then some sap green. So I need a light green and a dark green. So you don't have to use my exact colors, but just make sure you get the uh, light and dark green, all right, so. I tap it a little bit. If you're in my double loader, you would put these two colors next to each other. Um, I use those on, um, on my Friday's classes. So on YouTube, Fridays is a special day because I'm teaching you the basics of painting one stroke. Now I know there's a glare. Let's go down this way a little bit. And the camera's gonna glare because it's so shiny, all right? So one thing that I like to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of white and I'm gonna decide. I can, you can, I use chalk usually, but on this plastic, I don't know how well that's gonna show up, but we can try it. So, yeah. So we're just gonna come across here and I'm going to make one little scoop because this candle's gonna go like this. All right, are you with me? Okay, so if you just want to watch me, this will still be up later. If you're new out there and you didn't know it's going to be on, and I just surprised you, all right? So just watch and learn, and then you can get 
a charger and paint it with me. All right, I love this. You can order these plastic plates. They're great for chargers during the holiday and you can put family names on them, give them as a gift. Okay, so I wanted to start now because then this gives y'all plenty of time, right? Um, okay. Oh, okay. Like the folk art multi-surface things. Yes, this is folk art multi-surface paint. All right, for any of you who don't know what I'm using, all right, multi I've got a bunch of you who do, so it's really nice to have you guys on. I'm going to pick up, and I ended up putting just a little bit of gray because plain white, this is medium gray, plain white is not going to show well on this plate, right? So I'm going to come right here and watch this. I'm going to pull my little finger. You see my little finger? I'm going to pull straight down, all right, and come around. Back here, a little bit of a curve. And we're going to put some texture because we're going to have wax melting. Won't that be nice? And so having some texture on there will make this show even more. All right. So see, that doesn't show too much, but it will when we put everything else. All right. So I put that. I'm going to wash my brush out. And I'm going to let that dry just a little minute. Like I'm going to fan it with my foam plate. All right. Hello from Florida. Hello, Kathleen. And who else do we have out there? We have, uh, I can't hardly read. I have somebody from New Jersey and Texas. And, um, and we even get people from India, all kinds of other countries. It's really, it's hard to believe how amazing social media is and how we can touch people's lives by being there. And um, I had some of you that said, just paint and don't talk, <laughs> but I had some nice people who said that we like you talking. <laughs> so I just thought it's nice to learn something, uh, by having, I'm going to straighten that up. So it's funny, the camera and this is the plaid it really kind of messes you up. Been watching you since PBS. Oh my gosh, Silky. That's awesome. That's a long time. Um, if don't let dry gets messy for on these plates, what's going to happen is the good thing about these plates is you can take a wet terry towel, a wet paper towel, and wipe it off if you don't like it. Uh, the thing is, is when I put the red on on these red ornaments, I don't want them to go pink. All right, so I just let that go for a few minutes. I'm going to pick up my liner. Are y'all with me? Hello, Miss Jeannie. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna pick up some white with this liner and it's been wet first, right? So I'm gonna come right in the middle here and I'm gonna put a wick. So it's gonna have a wick right there in the candle just because we're waiting on that to dry just a little bit and I'm answering questions in case anyone needs a teacher in Tennessee. Nancy Gates says she's level one and level two instructor in Tennessee. So she's there for any of you. If you would like to have a teacher locally in Tennessee, that's a great thing. All right, so I'm gonna take a smaller flat brush. All right, so I have Donna G. Berry brushes. They're all on my site. You can get a value pack with the green handle. And then my signature brushes are lavender. There's 13 of these and the value pack are a 10 brush set. I use a lot of flats, okay? You made it, woohoo! <laughs> all right, so right here on that wick, I'm gonna pick up all daffodil yellow, daffodil yellow. And I did pick up a little bit of white and brought it over here. Now white will help it not be so transparent because the yellow is very see-through. Thank you. Thank you for the kind words, guys. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, I do pray for me. You're supposed to love your enemies and do good for those who do bad to you. And that's kind of hard. I'm not saying that accurately, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of red. So it looks like it's a flaming candle. Now look, I pushed really hard. Oops, I got to get down so you can see this. All right, I'm going to push really hard. And then I'm just going to do one stroke up. All right, so it looks like a flame. 
All right, now it looks kind of tilted, so I'm gonna do it one more time and have it straight up. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now I'm ready. See, it's dry enough, I could touch it. <clears throat> so let's pick up the red. Now I start with just red on the 12 or the 16, okay? So the first one I put in here is right here. I'm gonna make a circle half circle this way and half circle this way and be careful not to get too too big okay now see that's pretty see-through and it's moving that white paint okay I can have a blow dryer and sit here and dry it as I go which I might have when I originally did it all right but I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and we can put a couple of coats on this, but I'm going to come right here and have another one that comes this way. Yeah, see, it picked up that gray right away, which is okay. All right, I can also push in like that. Do you see? You can take your finger and push the stroke in if you got too big. Or. I can bring a second brush and just wipe away what I'm not happy with. You see that? I need to go a little bit closer. All right. So I'm going to come around and just lay it on there, guys. This is a key. I wanted to smooth this out. Now I'm going to go and get a deeper red after this dries. Now if the first one dries, then guess what? Then it's really easy to put a second coat. All right. There we go. All right, that's gonna be your hardest thing, getting this smooth. All right, I'm gonna pick up the plate so I can smooth it out at the top. The key is we want it round. And I don't have a good round here. So I'm going to leave it alone as soon as I do that. Okay. And if it's not perfect, guess what? We're going to put all kinds of greenery on there and it will be great. So I'm going to, one thing I like to do is just take and fan it a little bit. All right. I'm used to touching my iPad and making it move, but... There we are. All right, so I'm fanning that with my plate a little bit, and I'm gonna keep going, all right? So, so just one's a little bit higher than the other one, that's the key. Now, while this is drying a little bit, I am going to take my liner again. I could let y'all get this on here a little bit. I have a hard time leaving it alone. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. So up here to make this look more like a candle, look at this. There we go. I'm going to pick up with this liner. It's not wet. I mean, it's not is dried. I'm going to pick up white. All right. And I'm going to tap, tap, tap this melted wax all the way around the top here. And then I want it kind of lumpy a little bit. It's going to come over the edge and dripping down the side. And I definitely want to cover this area because right in here is where the top of the candle is. Can you see that? We're going to put all this little wax up here. Okay, thick paint. It's really textured looking. Now, I thought this was so fun. And when you, if you have multiple plates, 
you guys can be doing the plates, multiple ones at one time, because you put your red, go to the next one, put a red, go to the next one. And it's because it, you're going to let little bits of it dry as you go. Now, my other candle was a little skinnier, a little thin, taller. This one's a little shorter, which is fine. All right. So. There we go. Now, look at what we just did. See, this was a little bit taller. There we go. And so this one was higher over here and shorter here. But where we put these top pieces to hang it with it makes it look nice because it's tilted a little bit. I thought it was interesting. All right. So as soon as you guys get that in, that gave us a little bit of time for this to be drying. I'm going to get some berry wine. Or if you don't have wine, you can use a teeny bit of licorice or you can use um, sap green. There's different colors you can use to make the red darker. Okay. So I'm just going to show you that I'm putting this berry wine color right next to the red, the apple red. Now, like I said, this could be sap green and you wouldn't believe it. Sap green does not look like green when it's shading the red. So if I do a rose that I want to, American Beauty Rose, and I need depth. I will use this bright apple red with sap green, and nobody knows that I actually use green to get the shading that I was looking for. So are y'all happy yet? I don't have anybody posting anything. So let's see. Are y'all busy watching? That's a good thing. <laughs> if you're busy watching, I'm happy, happy. And let me know if you like what we're doing. Yeah, thank you. Thumbs up is a good thing. And I, I did not realize that it took that long for that red to dry. All right, so I want to add a little bit more. A little bit more. I don't want to put the greenery on here until we get this red in here good. There we go. Texture is good. It doesn't bother me to have the texture. All right. But because I had three of them going, I guess I wasn't paying attention to it did take a little bit longer for the red to dry. Okay, so now if you could see this, I'm laying it down like a feather that's just barely laying it on top of there, okay? That's the key. Okay, thank you. I just got two likes. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. I don't know if it's not letting you talk to me now or if y'all are just busy. That's a good thing though. Okay, so we are going, let me show you really quickly what I do. All right, so we just got six more likes. Thank you. All right, we're picking up the berry wine. So it's all red on this brush. And then I picked up berry wine on one corner, but I'm blending it. See how I'm blending it? It's called side loading. All right. Now, one of the things that has to happen is I want this, this darker. This one's going to be on top of this one. So the ornament. So look, I'm going to take and bring that dark. Need more. We're going to bring that dark all the way around. Now I am hoping you can see this right there. But I'm laying it. Do you see the brush is laying down? That's not usually what you see with me. All right. So, and under here is going to be greenery. So you're not going to see that. I'm going to go back and get more of the berry wine and just shade it a little bit there. Okay. So you can't see it too close. I'm gonna, I'll show a picture later, but I just have it a little bit darker here and a little bit darker there where it overlaps. Got it?
Now, this is a little trick I'm just telling you now. You can let that totally dry, do all your evergreen, and then you can come in here with floating medium and you can lay, let me show you. I can come with this berry wine. Look, I can come right in here and shade it more. All right, and get that darker. Come in here and do it darker. See that? So just do it later. All right. I just want you to see what we're going to do next. Okay. So now we're going to come in here with some licorice. Just remember, we're going to be posting this to you and go back and watch it over and over. All right. I'm glad you like my work. I appreciate it. So I see if it works there. Okay. Now, now what I want to do is take a smaller brush. Let's see. Maybe I can use this eight. All right. And I'm going to pick up just the licorice. So I'm picking up licorice with the eight flat. I use a lot of flats, guys. And remember, go look at my practice strokes on Fridays as where I put new ones up and I give you homework and you can work with me and learn how to do one stroke, all kinds of tips and tricks for newbies. All right. So see, I made a little, what is this? <laughs> it's where the hook goes. It's to hang your ornament. All right. It's kind of like a gum drop, drop there. So it was interesting to have one go one way and one go another way. So and I thought the black, I was going to put silver, but you can put silver or white on top of the black. But with the colors in the back, you have to do that. Okay. Now I'm going to take and put a little white hook on that. And the more I'm taking that time is just so every, um, I have some people that said they're posting, but it's not coming through. Uh, no. Okay, so I'm going to make an inky white, but not too inky. I don't want it really watery. Just a little bit so that I can get this on the very tip of the brush. And I just want you to see that I'm going to, oh, I did that with black. All right. I'm going to make this little scoop across here to make it look round. Doesn't that look round just by me doing that? And then, oh, thank you for all the likes, guys. I'm gonna come around here. Okay. I'm trying to make it so we can have more and more lessons online here live. Wouldn't that be fun? Or you have to let me know if you think it'll be fun. All right. So loop, loop, loop. Little loops coming up. Okay, and this is the little prongs that hold the ornament up, okay? So I'm going to do this over here too. I'm just going to touch and pull, pull. So you could just do it that way instead of doing those loops, and you look like you're doing loops. Okay. So they definitely look like they're being hung by those little connectors. All right, so I'm going to come right here and do a loop. All right, so I can come up just with the tip of that brush, and then you can come up on the other side to make it easier to do. So don't they look like ornaments? They don't have the glare on them yet. Look what happens when you put the glare. Okay, but that's the last thing I'm going to put on there is a the glare. All right, so guess what's next? leaves all right so i'm going to do the first thing i'm telling you to do that makes it really easy is we're doing evergreen all right i'm sorry but i'm not getting any posts on there to be able to answer anything anymore so if you're talking to me i'm not ignoring you and it's just not popping up anymore so i'm going to go back and forth with the 16 brush back and forth facebook group and share what you learned tonight. 
As soon as you paint it, we want to see it. All right. So do you see I came out from this side? And this is fun because this is very easy and you don't have to do any more than this. And with the evergreen, and even if you don't know leaves, it's fun. So I'm going to come into the red some. But when I come into the red, I want you to look over here. I got to wipe the red off. All right, wipe it off. There we go. Now, see, I'm using the light green. So if I get heavy, if you get really heavy like this with your light green, I want you to see the difference. Okay, so see this? And I can come a little bit more over here. All right, so now I'm going to come right back and pick up more dark green. And look what happens now. I'm doing really thin. I'm not pushing hard. See, I'm putting little thin pine needles. There you go. And I keep flattening my brush. Watch this. I keep coming over here and going just like that. And then I'm just going to come right in here. There we go. All right, so so just the pine needles are kind of fun. Let me show you again. Where are those little plates? Right here. Look, I did those all up underneath. See that? Just and put them up into here a little bit as this dried. All right. I am going to teach you the other leaves, though. Now, I can stop here and then come back and add more after I do my leaves. These are pine needles, or you can do little evergreens in here. And I can come up into these big leaves. But one of the things I'm going to do, just to show you it can be easier, is I'm going to take this off. A little bit where the heavy ridge is. And I'm going to come in here. Watch me pick up the paint. Okay. All right, here we go. I'm going to come right in here. And this, uh, here's the leaf. Okay, it's going to be a long line there right here. Okay, ready? We're going to go one, two, point, point. Okay. So turn the plate upside down. And let's start right here. We're going to come right here. And we're going to go one, two, three. And then all we do is pull a stem into it. So look at that. It's a little piece of holly. All right. So let's pick up a little bit more. And let's do it over here again. And see, I can go right on top of what I what I already put in there. Now, this takes a little bit of practice, but you guys can do it. Instead of going smooth to here, see how I went smooth? So let's do this. Let's go point, point, point. And you just go to those points with the edge, uh, with the little side edge of your brush. Okay, I'm going to do another one up here and cover this stuff right here. Put a, put a stem first. Now, remember I said we can go like this, and then you can go point, point, point. And that's what gives you the holly effect. So practice this. I've got a little trick I'll show you in just a minute. All right, so we're going to pull a stem right when I got where I got goopy in there. Okay, so this is what happens. If you go like this and you do it like a railroad track, you see that little crisscross? I mean, the cross is across there like the train track. Now watch what I do. I start here and then I go to a peak there. Then I scoop down up to a peak on that next one and then another one. All right. 
I want to try to get where it's not too glary so you can see there. All right, so here, one, two, three, and then to the point. There you go. All right, so I made these pretty dark. I can come in here and do a lot lighter one right here. Okay. And that little ridge is a little tricky, but that's okay. So I got pretty dark here. I'm going to come back and add a lighter green on top of this one. See that? Just gave it a little bit more lightness. Okay. So last thing I want to do with this evergreen is put a few more after the reds dried some. See how nice it shows in there. Okay. And I even put a little sprig here in the middle. Turn it over so I get some darker green in there. All right, I'm gonna come down a little bit more so y'all see this. Let's get away from the lights, there we go. All right, so be sure you can ask questions and I will answer them after we post this on the site. And then if, you, if I miss telling you something, you can ask there. I'll be sure to answer you, okay? Now, a, little, a few little tidbits that I think you'll like is the easiness of putting some little dots. Now, so the first thing I did is see these little, little dots here? They're like a stem, that a pick that's put in there. So this is how I do that. I'm gonna do dip dots and I usually handle my smallest brush and I grab it and I do little teeny dots. Okay, so little dots, let's go a little bit closer so you can see. Dip and then we're gonna dot, 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 dot. And I really wanted it to stand out um, on top of here. So I put a few little dots in here and some hanging out here. So dot, 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 dot. All right. A few little dots right here. So I thought the white made it pop a lot, just like the candle on the plate. I thought that really made it. Isn't that kind of fun? So I did one, two, three. I did triangles, one, two, three. And then let's do another one out here. So you want triangles, Lori. That was too loud. <laughs> My grandbaby's here. She's making a lot of noise. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is what I want you to do. I want you now, you can get a bigger handle and dip it into the red. And right in here, see I make a little circle. You're going to have these big holly berries. So they're going to stand out way more. And I didn't just, I usually do three, but I wanted to do a few more, okay? Now, they need a highlight on them, but I'm just going to show you that that's what I did first. Isn't that kind of nice? Now, also, that's with a bigger one. And now I'm going to go to a small one again. And I felt like there's two different colors I'd like to bring in here. Some little red berries that are teeny. And I'm not making them on a stem. I'm just laying them down here. So I also did that kind of in a triangle, one, two, and then one down here. Does that make sense? One, two, three. I like to tell you a little bit about design, not just about um, the painting strokes, but sometimes a little bit of design helps you to make it prettier too. Then what I did is I actually came in here with the citrus green and did little light berries that are still green. And anywhere it was really dark like this, it added to it. Can you see that? 
like right in here where the green's pretty dark. And I gave a little bit of a fresh, I like that. There we go. Now what do I need to do last? Can you all look at that and see what it needs? Thank you so much for being on with me tonight. Let's see what it needs. It is missing the glare. Okay, so we're going to put the glare on the glass. And that's really fun because it does change the looks. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my eight or my 10. This is my 10. I'm going to come right in here. This was dampened and laid on the paper towel and dried off. So I'm just going to come right here and get it nice. You don't want thick paint. I mean, you don't want, if it's got a film on it, it's no good. You got to have fresh. So that's fresh paint. Now this is what's going to happen. I'm going to put the glare, like the glare is hitting from one side. So you got to hold this just right. My little finger steadying me. I'm going to grab this and I'm going to pull. All right. And then I'm going to pull. So it's got the glare hitting from one side. And then I can, it's a little thicker than it should be because see how that was giving me a little bit of a time. And then I put a little glare on the chisel. Okay. So see that the glare hits here on both sides. And you can actually pull up a little bit of a glare hitting the wax candle. You see that just a little bit. And I put a little bit of white in here because it makes the flame glow more. Now, that wasn't difficult, was it? The only thing in this whole project that will take some practice is the holly berry. Okay, so the holly leaves. So I'm missing one more thing. What was it? Oh, I'm going to come here and get some white on the script liner to script liner. And then I'm going to touch my little glare on these berries. So I'm coming underneath, underneath. I'm gonna wipe that off because I picked up a lot of red. Okay, see how that just gave a really nice pop and then you can put a little highlight, oops, after it dries. <laughs> Excuse me, there we go. All right, I hope you like that. That's a little quick hour project. And all you have to do is practice a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna take a picture of that and post it so you can see, go find this, sign it, and you can stencil and a word on there, or you can put evergreen all the way around here, the pine needles. How fun is that? Easy, thank you so much. I appreciate everybody you being on. I'm sorry I couldn't read any more messages, but you know what? I'm going to go check all your messages out and write you back. Thank you for joining me today. Please subscribe if you haven't, and then you will absolutely know when I'm going to be on because I surprise you. All right. This one I told a few. So if you want to be surprised and know up, please subscribe and like. Thank you for those 51 likes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.